Hey guys, been a while since I've done a video, but uh, I figured I uh, had some unique uses for Adobe Illustrator here recently, and um, got my son here with me, who's been a great help the last couple of days. We've been uh, working on a kitchen remodel, and uh, there's been a lot of work to do, but we ran across a couple uh, opportunities where Illustrator made more sense to me than just yanking out the uh, the ruler and measuring stuff by hand. So uh, I had a problem here we were laying down floor trim n near the floor and I knew that I had a weird step here we had laid down floor tile and the floor tile was actually a little bit above the subfloor or the uh, the hardwood floors so I went and took some measurements um, and I made a mock-up and this is kind of like a side view of what the uh, floor tile looks or I'm sorry the um, the floor trim looks like um, so this piece ran all the way across and then it got to this weird abrupt corner and I thought well I need to make a, a step down but there's no way I'm going to do this with just a ruler so what I did was I determined okay I want a two inch gap so I gave it some rough estimates used this as a base made a piece that uh, fit that size so let's uh, let's actually get rid of that and we'll duplicate this piece over here and then I'll change its width to two inches so I kind of started from here and I knew what the the gap of the height was so I threw this piece in lined it up extended it out and then using the rotation tool uh, R on the keyboard I set the um, the registration point to the top left and then I rotated this until it matched so let's get rid of that fill, oops, get rid of that fill, I'll throw that over on top here, oh. let's try this again, get rid of the fill, throw it on the top, start in the corner, so a little bit long is fine, put the registration point in the top, and then I rotate it until I get down to this point here, which is the two inch gap. So I ran some guides and then came up with what our measurements would be based on the length from here to here. So you take a line, draw, and as you're drawing, Illustrator shows you that it's 2.14 inches. And then same thing down here, we got 0.53 inches. And when it was all said and done, I had all the measurements I need to hit the compound saw outside. And here's what it looked like. Uh, got a little bit of puttying to do, but it all fit together really nice. Um, also ran into an opportunity uh, last weekend when we were working on our floor tile. And using just some basic measurements, I laid out the, um, the floor plan in Illustrator, and since our tiles were 17 and a half inches, I was easily able to find out that 17 and a half with eighth inch grout lines would be able to fit, you know, perfect tile on this corner running all the way to the end, and I wouldn't even have to cut them at the end. So without running around too much with uh, measuring tape and that sort of stuff inside the kitchen, we got to a really good uh, point where we could just lay down, you know, the starting tile and move out. And that was just basically from using, you know, real world, real world measurements inside of Illustrator. So uh, you run into a unique problem, and if you start to think uh, visually like I do, it's a lot easier to do it in here. And, uh, well, uh, hope you guys got something out of it. Thanks.